Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss a one more concept in operating system that is disk management. So in our previous session, we have discussed about the space allocation methods as well as the disk structure and the uh, disk scheduling algorithms, right? So in today's session, so we'll, without delay, we'll start disk management. So here, uh, the name itself indicates it is a process of managing, here disk means a storage devices, okay, managing the storage device. So what are the storage device we know? So the storage devices are the hard disk or flash drive or anything else okay the memory okay the memory right so managing the storage device so what will be doing that in that memory so it will also be responsible on allocating the space uh, that means efficient usage of space and file systems etc so whatever uh, the things we can done on storage device everything will be the responsible by the disk management okay so mainly this is a managing the storage devices so we have studied about the disk structure right so the disk structure there will be cylindrical parts we call them as a platters and each platter will be having the centric circles which we call them as a tracks and every track is further divided into sectors right so the storage device and everything will be comes under with the disk management now we'll see the key features what are the key features or a key functions this is the main important key functions of a disk management so the first one is a partitioning many of you know about this partitioning i think so partitioning means dividing the complete hard disk into different sections different parts so if you are using any computer so if you if you open this pc you will be seeing the c drive d drive e drive etc so all these drives comes under the partitions we can call them as a partitions so partitioning means dividing storage into partitions and each partition will be a different section okay and the next one formatting so formatting means so once a partition is divided so we can't directly use that partition until it was formatted or it was kept ready with some file system so the formatting means making partition to get ready with a file system with a file system okay so we have seen uh, different kinds of file systems also right so whatever the concepts we have discussed in last 10 classes everything comes under this disk management okay then file system the next one the next function is a file system so we we have studied that so every operating system will be having a different file systems okay so here also there will be different file systems which will be managing the files in order to manage the files so during partition itself uh, i mean during formatting itself the partition will be formatted with a particular file systems so we have seen a different file systems like fat32 okay and ntfs and ext3 etc etc different file system we have seen so every partition will be get ready with a different file systems based upon the requirements and the next one free space management so it will deal with the available storage space 
so available storage space so based upon this available storage space it will allocate or deallocate memory blocks to the files so because we have studied that files will be stored in the memory blocks so in order to store that files we required some memory to be get allocated so based upon the free space the allocation will be done and based upon the usage or a completion the deallocation of memory blocks will be done so everything will be comes under this free space management which will be done under the disk management next disk storage or uh, we can simply call it as a disk performance and optimization disk performance and optimization so we have studied uh, uh, different key terms in disk scheduling algorithms like uh, access time okay next uh, throughput latency so like that we have studied different uh, key concepts so always if you want to get the optimized disk performance then it should have a less access time so that means within a less time we need to get the file right so less act access time as well as less latency also so by using this one if you achieve this less uh, access time and less less latency automatically it will give the disk optimized disk performance next hope you understood partitioning formatting file system free space and disk performance now the next one disk scheduling so this also we have studied in our previous session so whenever we want to access the files from the disk so based upon the access time right so based upon uh, the different uh, constraints so the request will be processed so we have studied a different uh, algorithms in order to process the request on the disk so like we have seen fcfs first come first serve sstf shortest seek time and similarly scan c scan look c look circular look so these are a different kinds of uh, uh, scheduling algorithms we are using in order to process the request and then disk caching so it stores frequently accessed files frequently accessed files just similar to cache memory okay just similar to cache memory so it will store all the files which are being frequently accessed so in order to get the fast access The next one is a defragmentation so obviously we we know that in order to i mean uh, allocation of a space or allocating the files to the memory so uh, we we face a few problems like a fragmentation one problem is a fragmentation so internal fragmentation and external fragmentation so collection of all fragments which are available to make a memory it's called the defragmentation right so arranging all fragments that means unused block of memory unused blocks of memory okay to make contiguous blocks continuous blocks right so that is a defragmentation so fragmentation and defragmentation will be done here next error detection 
and recovery. So what happens in this error detection and recovery? So the name itself indicates here. So it will detect. So here error means the bad sectors. So we have, we have studied that the data will be stored in a sectors, right? So it detects bad sectors. It detects in a bad sectors and also it recovers the data from the bad sectors. Okay, then space allocation. So here uh, space allocation, the name itself indicates allocating the memory to the files. So we have seen three different styles of the space allocation methods, file allocation methods. We have studied that in another way that is a file allocation method. So which is uh, contiguous, we have studied all these things, contiguous, linked file, linked allocation as well as indexed, indexed. So contiguous means the file will be stored in a contiguous memory blocks and linked means so the end of one memory will be pointing towards the another block and indexed means there will be one more block which point which will be having the pointer towards all the locations of that particular file. So in such way the space allocation will be done and security and access control so security means preventing from unauthorized access preventing from unauthorized access unauthorized access so data protection we can say data protection by using a different encryption mechanisms by using encryption so we can protect our data so all these things come under this security and access and similarly there is a one more thing called mounting and unmounting mounting and unmounting so here a mounting means un mounting and unmounting means making the disk available so making the file or partition available okay so unmounting means so disconnection okay and unmounting means it is a disconnection in a smooth way the example so you can consider a pen drive so if you uh, insert that pen drive in a usb slot automatically that we call it as a mounting will happens mounting so it will be ready to use that will be ready to use and unmounting means you can safely remove that particular storage device okay eject you will be having one option called eject so safely we can remove that pen drive or uh, any any flash drive so without losing any data so that is called as an unmounting so mounting and unmounting so making the partition or a file available to the user and unmounting means uh, disconnecting the partition safely without uh, losing any kind of data so these are all key functions these are all different key functions of this uh, disk management and now we will see the goals what are the goals of disk management one is efficient use of space efficient use of disk space so allocation and deallocation of space to the files fast accessing of data that is most important fast accessing of data from files and we have seen the data recovery and protection so protecting the data right so data reliability and protection data reliability and 
protection okay and also it supports multi user and multitasking systems multitasking systems so these are all different goals of disk management so simply we can say so the storage and whatever the things we are doing on that storage everything comes under this disk management okay so in windows you may you may find the option called disk management utility okay there will be an option so there you can find all the partitions which are available in your drive so there you can uh, uh, compress or deallocate the memory or you can uh, allocate a new memory okay you can uh, expand the new new allocation or you can expand the partitions also right so once you check it check it that uh, control panel you go with the disk management so you can find all the details of disk man disk uh, storage and everything right the file system and everything you will be finding so this is how uh, these are the of concept of uh, disk management the key functions as well as the goals of disk management so let's stop here and uh, if you are having any queries regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section I definitely will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed the session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much